very point someone should please check on the very best friend of late junior pope speaking about david Oweni, because ever since the sudden demise of his best friend junior pope he is yet to just recover he kept on posting all these crafted messages and videos on his instagram page the recent one he just uploaded has it with this particular picture and he has been writing and saying some people are enduring so much frustration in their marriage not by their own fault but by the virtue of being married to someone who is disadvantaged in certain systems and principles that should typically apply to them in life in another post again dave obeni said listen you just don't marry an individual you marry a system and again while mourning the sudden demise of his best friend junior pope he also uploaded this on his instagram page and he now wrote a comment where he said that junior pope commented in one of his posts where he said you go one day be governor of Delta State. No worry, bro. God got plan for you. And David replied Junior Pope and said, Amen, my blood. I accept her. In the caption of this particular upload, Dave Obeni commented and said, Future governor, where are you there? Make I hear say you know make me commission. And when that time comes, that's how he helps me. Goodbye, brother. I pour some liquor. In the comment section of this particular post, people are consoling him as Ibiwara Etuk just wrote heartbreaking emojis and said, Dave, please be strong. Our hearts are heavy. It is well. See this guy's dead eh? No day passes by without me thinking about him. Jolly Jovia Four said, This man's death is too painful. What he wanted was just to make money and love his family. And you know, Chris said, I didn't know Junior Pop in real life yet. His death hits me so badly. Please, those colleagues of his who have already moved on, how do you people do it? Those who couldn't honor him by posting his pictures by claiming that it is not by posting now. Wow, remember JP won't be the last man to die. We all are all moving coffins. It will definitely get to your turn someday. Take heart, sir. I am just a fan from Afar, but this death hits me hard. Take heart, sir. I don't know JP personally, but I understand him to be someone who loves seeing everyone around him prospering. A jolly good fellow without hate for anyone. Lil Great Consult Dave opened by saying, I'm still speechless. Each time I see any post or pics of him, I feel shattered and broken. I wish it's all a dream. What a word. Whenever I see JP's post, I can't hold my tears. God, why do you take good people and leave the wicked ones roam around? Why Pope Junior? Why him? If anyone has a hand in his death, may them pay dearly. It is well. JP's death is just too painful. Let alone to someone very close. I can imagine how you feel, sir. Let's just keep praying for his son. Take heart. God, I never see that way shame me like this. This death is personal to me. I don't know why I can't get over the death. It is so unreal to me. I sleep and I wake up thinking he will just post and say it is a prank. How is people close to him taking this if I am feeling just like this? I am suspecting that Dave is being restricted from saying one or two because I remember that in his very first tribute after Junior Pope died, that he said that Junior Pope told him to speak up if he eventually dies and now he couldn't talk hence he is just uploading all this cryptic message on marriage meanwhile there is an update emancipating from the producer adama looks camp and in the post that she made this morning on her instagram page she is coming out to just say things concerning all the accusations that she just abandoned the souls that died on her movie production in the post she made on her instagram page she said it has become necessary for me to make a statement because of the false allegation being made against me since the tragic loss of junior pope abigail precious friday and all Ante, my team and i have been actively collaborating with the families to provide all necessary funds as requested from the grave diggers to the divers and for for the police officers involved in the search of the bodies this also includes expenses for casket ambulances and additional funds to cover other relative costs.
each crew member's family received a great amount and some decided to have their loved ones buried by the water side as they believed that those who die by drowning should just be laid to rest near water. This ritual involved invoking the spirit into a casket lined with a plantain leaf which was then sent to the families for burial. I have video evidence of their agreement to this arrangement. Furthermore, additionally, my team and I arranged the departure of the ambulance from Asaba to the homes of Precious and Friday. As a result of this, my team and I will be sharing details and videos proof of everything that has happened since this tragedy. In this time of a huge loss and mourning for the family, the allegation that I have not taken any action are complete lies. My team and I remain in communication with the police and members of the families who have lost their loved ones. In the caption of this particular post, Adama Luke said, I am human and I can't be that heartless not to do anything so that they can't rest in peace in the comment section of this particular post shasha underscore itota is attacking adam maluk as she said you say you provide life jacket say jp rejected it because it was still dirty the other survivors say you know provide better go and nurse your baby and get out of here Friday Josephine also commented and said, You go explain tire. You didn't do the need for by giving them a life jacket and that they are no more because of you and your movie. You're talking about expenses. Why didn't you use the expenses you are using now to get the life jacket for them before entering the water? Now you have learned the hard way. I pray the families of the deceased forgive you because this is very sad. Greed is a sin. Do it right from the beginning to avoid unnecessary consequences. I get glad this underscore said, Just rest. We are tired of your lies. You return their bodies and their families are online begging for cops to be returned to them oji mara esther also said if they agreed why would the cameraman mother come online and be crying for help to bring back his son nobody should just shut you up if you have her own video where she agreed please post it because internet never forgets it is well with everyone will all this bring them back to life please if you will listen just stop already all those posts aren't actually necessary at the moment because it wouldn't change anything just rest and take a break first for your mental health madam i don't know you but my prayers are with you god will judge and straighten you and uh, it will open now 2022 commented and said somebody needs to come out with the truth all the stories flying online are lies they kill that innocent man and put the blame on water but one thing is for sure in this life karma is real and will catch up with whoever that has a hand in the death of that young man no matter how long it takes you all with the conspiracy to kill him will pay by grace of god wicked generation be strong sister god is your strength remember you have a little baby so be strong my prayers are with you and the family of the deceased may god comfort and console them and somebody said hope you can now rest and this particular person is thanking the blogger that has been dragging adam maluk and adam maluk also went ahead to upload all the evidence of everything that transpired including the bank details of how she made the transfer and how she paid the ambulances how she paid for the casket and how she paid for the search and everything to just ascertain that indeed she has been spending money furthermore adam maluk also now uploaded the video of late abigail the makeup artist and also the other three crew workers each of the pictures and video has their account details of their parents in the caption adam maluk said a lot of people have been sending messages asking for the account numbers of the family so that they can assist please do well as your heart leads you i had to get the family's permission to release their account number may god bless you as you help she indicated abigail's father's account details she also indicated all auntie's account details she also put friday's family's account details and also precious father's account details excluding that of junior pope of which we don't know reason she did so and if she did not explain i will not even bother asking meanwhile there is another update that is coming from late precious speaking about the guy that is from river state that got drowned and also died and was also buried by the riverbank because Stanley on top updated us that on Tuesday being the 23rd of April that his body will be exhumed and returned to his village for burial and according to Stanley on top the family refused to just show up after he has paid them 
1.2 million and also a particular pastor helping them with 10 million naira yet they refused to come and this is what transpired between stanley and the sister of the late guy that has been buried in the river bank just watch this videos to to um abia states the makeup girl the acquired state government helped in taking her cops to um acquire bond um junior popes i don't know i don't know i don't know about that one i don't want to talk about junior Pope again the only cops remaining in the riverside now is precious cops and i have raised 1.2 million dollars for this family to come and, and take this cops out, out from here and take take it back to to river state the, the 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 senior pastor of Mercy Land, Jeremiah Omotufufe, he gave them 10 million naira to also support. The River State government also supported, said, go and carry your son, give us estimates. Now, the father, no one can carry the pecan. He's telling us that he's a traditionalist. He, don't, he, 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 he doesn't want to come and carry the cops. But you came out online and today, being Tuesday. They're supposed to come as about today come assume the body of precious since morning i've not heard anything from this family since day before yesterday i've been calling them on phone what is the update why when are you people coming nobody gave me an insight of what was what was happening in river state it was yesterday night that somebody close to the family called me and said that uh i'm gonna tell you the truth to this family know they're ready to come collect these cops from the riverside and let me tell you people the only cops remaining remaining in that river is only precious cops it's only precious cops and i cry for nigerians to raise funds for you and are you threatening us or what oh are you trying to make us to do against our tradition or what see my beloved brother there is nothing we happen there. Are you getting me? We can't do it against our tradition. Hmm? We can't do it against our tradition. The only thing we will do there now is for us to find a way to call the spirit out and to go with the spirit. Normally to approach the coffee of that boy, my dear brother. No sure I say they go make arrangement of arresting this family or what? Are you hearing me? We can't do against our tradition one. Or are you trying to make us or um, are you trying to destroy our family by uh, making us to approach someone that's or uh, someone that uh, water has already been took or what? See, my dear brother, let's not be a church, okay? If maybe your community or your village or your area or your state is accepting someone that sick or that sink in the river or that die in the river. So if your side is is accepting it to bring you for you to bring them out and bury in your own hometown, we our side it hardly for our side we accept such a thing and we are doing this the caption of this particular videos that was uploaded by stanley on top on his instagram page he wrote this is the voice record precious twin sister sent to me this evening at this point now my hands are off this family let them do what they wish is good for them and the family they said it's a taboo to return the cops home but it was not a taboo to come online and beg nigerians for money i want to appreciate those who also contributed in making sure precious family gets Get help my advice to everyone try hard to live and not to die quick dear precious offering you have seen that on top have tried in making sure your remains returns home i remember the last time that we spoke was february when we were preparing for my job and the promises i gave to you or more i grieve if i remember our last conversation but nigerian has happened to you i don't think you came out from a good family precious but in your absence rest well champ anyway it was just the way the twin sister is just explaining her own side of story all i just have to say in whatever you are in this life oh, do not come out from a toxic family this is your first time ever 
of coming on my channel if it's Star Wars. All you just have to do is to patronize and promote my channel by simply clicking on the red icon down below to subscribe to my channel and also endeavor to turn on the notification bell that is right beside the subscribe button. Of course, its function is to always notify you once I upload any update that has to do with this boat accident that happened on the 10th of April 2024. Feel free to give this video a huge thumbs up and share your thoughts also in the comment section remember that i am still your favorite entertainer with continuous entertaining entertainment as i keep on saying pray for the lost souls and the likes of ruby ojako dave owen and every close friend especially the wife of late junior pope that god will console them holy spirit will continually hug them and give them the forty two to bear this irrepressible loss and may god grant their soul eternal rest amen and enjoy the rest of your week as i scream happy mid week stay safe out there peace